Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley, Mandy Williams, Glenn Campbell, Tom Jones, hundreds of others. They're currently on a concert tour in the United States, and they're appearing this Thursday night at uh, Santa Monica Civic Auditorium. And they're going to be hosting NBC's Midnight Special one week from Friday here on NBC. This is their latest album called Life in a Tin Can. It's always a great kick to have them on the show. Would you welcome the Bee Gees? Well,
sudden I saw a new morning Locked up I want to be free Out in the courtyard and over the wall And my friends are waiting for me Sixteen people are waiting to get me Hoping to take me Take a break, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Those are two fine numbers. Are those both from the current album? No. Uh, uh, one is. The first the, the second one we did. Which yeah. Is, which is also the new single. And the other one we is on the newest album, which yeah. will be released right. about Mitchell. You fellows compose all of your yes, that's right. all of your stuff, don't you? Now I gotta get the name. I know it's uh, Maurice, Robin and Barry. Robin, no, which, Morris. Robin and Morris and Barry. You do a good deal of the uh, well, Robin and, me take, uh, Robin and me take a major part in that, mm -hmm. in the writing. Morris helps a lot with the melody line and uh, rhythm instruments. He plays a lot of instruments. Yeah. He plays piano and bass. You were mentioning this, there's so many groups around, and, uh, and you guys have given up more or less playing what you call the stadium large places because you yeah. felt that uh, you weren't giving the audience really what they came to see because you lost all that intimacy. No, it's not yeah. that. What, what the, the biggest thing is that you get a, a, a stadium of 15,000 people mm -hmm. and uh, you get about 3,000 3, really listening. Right. And the rest are out of touch because they're not in, because they're not in, uh, really in communication right. with you on the, because you are just a, a, th a soldier on, 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 the, on the stage 
not a soldier necessarily, yeah. but a person on the stage in which they are not, they are only listening vaguely because they can hardly hear you, they can hardly see you, so they, they tend to, to carry on with their own activities and, yeah. and, uh, and start know, so with the other people. You're really cute. <laughs> But you, you also must enjoy it more when you have that rapport with the audience, because if you're playing to somebody vaguely sitting 100 yards away... Get him off the stage. Really? Uh, At the end of every oh, show, I, I, I love an audience. He moves the audience. <laughs> <laughs> He's no, the only one I've ever seen do it. No, it's not. It's not you guys, now, you guys have had uh, fantastic success and, and well-deserved. How did it all start? Are you, are your family, did it well, come from a, a, a it, musical well, background? I was nine, mm -hmm. and Morris mm -hmm. and Robin was six when we started. Mm -hmm. and we started doing matinee theatres. You know, where you work after a film or before a film. We used to get a shilling a time. That's so five Things haven't changed uh, very much. <laughs> ten cents. Things have changed a lot. We get shilling two shillings. <laughs> what was the first big breakthrough? Because you, you came oh. into popularity at a time when there were hundreds and hundreds of groups. We've got our yeah. first big break in Australia in 1962 at the Chubby Checker Show. Hi, this is Chubby Checker. Remember me? <laughs> <laughs> Just think, guys, in 30 years you'll be selling those records on television. Remember? <laughs> You'll be coming out, where are the Bee Gees? Remember this one? <laughs> they say, where do old record stars go when they die? Now you know where you're going. Yeah, like <laughs> that, that's nostalgia. You'll be nostalgia time, you know, in 20 years. Well, well, like well, Mills Brothers. Brothers. Right. It won't be so bad. Yeah. Are there any more uh, yes, youngsters in the family? Small one. Yeah. The younger, younger brother, uh, who's 15, and... Uh, and a he, sister who's older than you. He didn't want you to say how old he was. He didn't? Oh, God, because, you see, when he goes on tours with us, he wants to get all the girls, you know. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, and now I've blown he's, it. <laughs> yeah. so tell him he's he's only 15? Him, well, he tells him he's yeah. 18. Does he also hope to, looks, to, to like join 40. in the group or get his own... Uh... Yeah, eventually, eventually it may happen, you know, because Andy is writing and he's singing, you know, so he's, and he's playing the guitar, so there's a chance in the future he'll develop and we'll be able to get a four-part harmony nicely. Right. Now, you, not all of you are married. This room. Walls. You're all married? Yeah. So, do you have the... Well, I don't, I don't think whether it's a problem or not. Uh, but uh, when you were single, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the groups had uh, the groupies. Well, uh, well, well, spotted yeah. them around. It's a pleasant problem. Our road managers get them. <laughs> <laughs> they get them before we do. <laughs> do you still have the fanaticism that a lot of the groups had in the early days, the almost yeah, uncontrollable... We have, uh, no, we have a very... Uh, they, they're amazing because they listen which is a good thing. You don't right. hear a lot of screamers. They listen very much so during the songs, and they show their enthusiasm afterwards. And it's very nice then. They, they go mad, absolutely mad, after the song. Because for a while you'd go to a concert and nobody could hear anybody from the opening number. Yeah. Or, 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 oh, we had that, you know, but right. some of the fans that have grown up with us come and see us. They like, like to listen. Right. You know, That's good. And we like that too. Mm. They show their appreciation after the show, you know, which has been incredible on this tour. You know, believe right. New York right through. Which of the... <laughs> do they carry on like this all the time? No, only on this show. No, only on the, show. <laughs> <laughs> the atmosphere of the show. Do you, uh, do, you, do you miss the rapport you have with an audience live rather than television? Do you oh, feel that it cuts? Oh, we love it because then when you go on stage and you're actually working in front of, say, 6,000 right. people or something, depends on what you know, place you're working, yeah. you're actually seeing the people appreciate what they liked on the record. You're actually seeing them. We the like to, go out to make records. friends with the audience. That's the whole right. thing. Oh, he goes with the audience, shake hands with everybody. And... No, <laughs> But we like to do that. We like to make friends. Then you have a wrap up all the way through the show. Right. You know, nobody shouts out or heckles you. Yeah, that's great. You get to, that's the list to us. It's great. All right, yeah. we're going to take a short break here, and uh, we're coming right back. Stay okay. with us. We are back now. Somebody mentioned something about a, an acoustical number uh, that you can do just uh, just casually here. Is that one yeah, tuned up? Well, it's tuned up my way. Just All right. Play it your way. Oh, you said it's tuned up your way. What do you mean? You, well, you I tune? Play guitar entirely different. Oh, you play bass. Tuning. You play bass guitar mainly, right? Yeah, he plays bass. He plays bass. It's the same old bass. He plays. Uh, Bass and you tune it. In other words, you don't normally tune it as a six-string guitar. Uh, yeah, I tune yeah. a six-string, but I tune to an open D chord. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes he my tunes. brother turns one of them down. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> and, yeah, you've done it again, haven't you? Yeah. This could uh, take a while. That's about as far as I've progressed on the guitar, <laughs> anyway. Is really getting it in tune. Now we're getting ah. the other. Uh, the other guitar here. Oh, yes, he say, it's all right, like no more tuning. All right. Okay. We got one. You got one? We got one. Here we go. <coughs> Copies now, quickly. Okay, we're, we're going to do a song called uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> Oh, 
Massachusetts. Something's telling me I must go home. Those short naps are wonderful when you have to lay out, aren't they? That's why you see I stay in the background. Now. That's funny. I wear these suits so everyone can see me. Uh, I should mention before we have to say goodnight. Well, I'll do it when we come back. We're